feel like I owe it to people. I owe it because I've been blessed to have access to information, people, resources, um, travel, things that have allowed me to see better ways of life. You know, as you hear in music, a lot of times hip hop artists, we boast about having this and that material things. Well, my value and blessings have been like in getting access to healthier foods um, and being able to get in tune with the therapists and get in tune with, um, you know, spiritual leaders that mean something to me. You are a vegan? Yes. How long? I was vegan in 99, then I went to eating fish maybe eight years later. Then I went back vegan only since 2020 now. How long have you been vegan? Uh, I started back in 2018, nice. right? So I'm, I'm still kind of new and figuring yeah. this whole thing out. But, yeah. but reading your book, it was like seeing myself in those pages. I, I am curious though, do you still have cravings, especially when you come back to Chicago? So Harold's chicken, yeah. Leon's barbecue, yeah. the pizza, the pork chops. Yeah. I mean, when you see it, do you think about it? And do you want it? I don't have cravings like often, but it has been times where I've been around somebody eating some Harold's and I'm like, <laughs> ooh, like, wow, that, I remember like seeing the mild sauce. And I want to say to my, you know, to my people here in Chicago, the businesses, I'm not trying to knock what you give it, what the foods are, are tasty, but I just know there's other things to balance that I want something greater for my life. So I'm going to remove these things that I, I'm eating and add all this stuff that I think is, that I know is adding life to my body. I've been through phases in my career where I've dressed a certain way or chose to be vegan. And all I heard was like, look at this dude, oh, he wearing crochet and this and that. But, you know, I was able to be strong through it and know who I am because I've been, been through it as a kid and had worked through it and knew enough to love myself and had love around me. You mentioned how the experiences of your childhood shape who we all are. Yeah. Um, you want the love, and you've talked about that, but you also said that you've, you've dealt with commitment issues as yeah. well. Because of me working on those things and healing those things, I'm able to see myself in a greater way, which allows me to be greater in any relationship that I'm in, greater as a father, greater as a son, you know, greater as an artist, to be honest. 